back then, we got paid cash every night. We didn't have to wait for a corporate check. Money, money in the hand every night. For WWF, you said it's, it's cash only. Mm -hmm. What kind of paydays are we talking about, like in the 70s? Do you oh, remember? wow. Well, I remember we're still getting cash. Now, I did that. Uh, I did the thing where I, I broke Tito's leg, right? And uh, he had a legitimate uh, bad leg injury. He had to have a operation. So they put me in on him and used the figure four. His leg was already messed up, and I messed it up even more. But when we actually got out on the road and started wrestling, he's fighting me for the title. I remember we went to Detroit in the afternoon Sold it out, Joe Louis Arena or Kobo, one of those two. And we got $4,500 cash. Boom, 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 boom. Got on a private airplane, flew to Boston, wrestling at the Boston Garden, the old garden. Same thing, sold out. I think it was another four grand close to it, whatever. So you get gobs of money on you. They went to two other shows later on. Philadelphia, Baltimore. You know, you could make 20 grand a weekend, 30 grand a weekend. This is before the checks. The only one, the only one that you would get paid with a corporate check was Madison Square Garden. You didn't get cash in. You could get an advance, but that was it. And this is a lot of money for 2021. I mean, I can't imagine what it was in the 70s and 80s when you're getting these kind of checks. You four thousand dollars a 20000 30000 for a weekend? That's, I mean, that's crazy. It's fabulous. Yeah. This is in the 80s. This is fabulous money. Fabulous money. Of course, back in Mid-Atlantic, we always got a check every week. But I love that cash every night. Wow. That's fantastic. Who doesn't love cash, right? Yeah. I'm in Las Vegas, the home of cash. <laughs> we like cash here. Yeah. We had a fan actually ask, because you did the first Starcade, you did the first WrestleMania, they wanted to know what the paydays were between the two. Uh, were they comparable, or do you remember? I know it's a long time ago, but... Uh, I don't remember what I made for Starcade. I mean, it was good. But I remember WrestleMania 1 was real good. So, you know, but it was a check. It was 25 grand or something like that. It was good. Yeah. And I wouldn't... I was Intercontinental Championship match with the dog. Then you had the tag team match with the Wyndham and the Tunnel, I think, against Sheik and Volkov. And then you had another tag match at the top, which was Hulk Hogan um, and Mr. T and Piper and Orndo. So that was so I was third from the top. That was a good good payday. Are they still doing the payouts based on how you're drawing on the card at this point? This is before where everyone's kind of getting, like before contracts and all the other stuff. Yeah, so I never had a contract all these years. You know, I don't know what percentage they were paying out of the gate, but if you were in a main event, you would get more than a semi-main event or the special match, and the lower guys, you know, would get a, a good payday, but it wouldn't be like we were getting. Mm -hmm. So they... Yeah, so they know they figured the main event is a draw. That's the main draw, and then and then the matches stacked underneath. They would help, you know. It's called supporting card, and you, you would get a good hunk of the money too. You know, Hulk Hogan had his own deal, so I don't know what he made. Yeah, but most of the other guys were, you know, five percent of the house or whatever it turned out being. And uh, the Carolinas, you know, it was, uh, it was a check. I think it might have been a check every two weeks. You know, it was a while. But it was always good. Good money there. Jim Crockett paid. And I know he just passed away. He was a good friend of mine, uh, Jim Crockett Jr. But he paid good. He paid good.